life's adventures came up plenty for a granite in my hands, but youth is done with all... Alfred Clive Carpenter, OAM, fought in every major theatre of World War II as a member of the AIA. He faced the Italians, the Germans and the Japanese. He worked on anti-aircraft equipment and experienced bombing raids by the Italians in North Africa. He fought German tanks in the mountains of Greece and invading German paratroopers on the island of Crete. He trained in jungle combat techniques to fight the Japanese army in the war in the Pacific. A man of strong mind and body who sees so much positivity in the world. A hero. I'm Alf Carpenter and I'm a man of many parts. In 1934, at the age of 18, Alf enlisted in the 56th Battalion Militia Forces against his parents' wishes. 1934, and I have decided to do my part for this beautiful country. By the time the war broke out, in September 1939, Alf had reached the rank of sergeant in the militia. The militia, my second family, my brothers in arms. Colonel Campbell said he's in trouble at Rethanon. German paratroopers have taken the aerodrome, and we might be next! Oh, 0400 hours, they heard the drone of planes coming in at sea level. Paratroopers are landing all amongst us! Keep out of sight! On the 19th of February, 1942, Japanese planes bombed the military port in Darwin. Alf now had to learn another form of combat, jungle warfare. Regimental Sergeant Major of the 2nd and 4th Battalion, Alfred Clive Carpenter. From his early days of mischief in Wagga Wagga, to his heroic service for our nation, to the exploration of higher levels of the mind, Alf has lived many lives. He has had experiences and made achievements known by few others and braved hardship for our nation unlike anything we would know. He fought the Italians in the desert, the Germans in the mountains, and the Japanese in the Pacific. He's respected as a mighty veteran, both at home and away. Anzac, Anzac, long live that glorious name. Anzac, Anzac, that's where they played the game. Join